a very warm welcome to all of you here on the edge of Trafalgar Square at St. Martin in the Fields and a special welcome if you're joining us for the first time from another part of the country or another country in the world. You are very welcome here for Morning Song, sung for us this morning by our choral scholars. The choral scholars have been a great gift to St. Martin's throughout this year and this is the final service of their year with us so we especially appreciate their singing this morning and thank them for lifting our hearts and minds into the love and presence of Christ. So let's begin then with our choral scholars. Oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Give us the joy of your saving help and sustain us with your life-giving Spirit. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and in our song will we praise our God. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator and redeemer of all. To you be glory and praise forever. From the waters of chaos you drew forth the world, and in your great love fashioned us in your image. Now through the deep waters of death, you have brought your people to a new birth by raising your son to a life in triumph. May Christ your light ever dawn in our hearts as we offer you a sacrifice of thanks and praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And now the choir, the choral scholars are going to sing for us. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. One day telleth another, and one night certifieth another. nor language, but their voices are heard among them. Their sound is gone out into all lands, and their words into the ends of the Cometh forth as a bridegroom out 
clean and endureth forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover by them is thy servant taught, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Our first reading for today is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 13, beginning to read at verse 5. Samuel, chapter 13, beginning to read at verse 5. The Philistines mustered to fight with Israel 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and troops, like the sand on the seashore in multitude. They came up and encamped at Mishmash, to the east of beth Avon. When the Israelites saw that they were in distress, for the troops were hard-pressed, the people laid themselves in caves and in holes and in rocks and in tombs and in cisterns. Some Hebrews crossed the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. Saul was still at Gilgal, and all the people followed him trembling. He waited for seven days, the time appointed by Samuel. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people began to slip away from Saul. So Saul said, Bring the burnt offering here to me, and the offerings of well-being. And he offered the burnt offerings. As soon as he had finished offering the burnt offerings, Samuel arrived. And Saul went out to meet him and salute him. Samuel said, What have you done? Saul replied, When I saw that the people were slipping away from me, and that they did not come within the days appointed, and that the Philistines were mustering at Mishmash, I said, Now the Philistines will come down upon me at Gilgal, and have not entreated the favour of the Lord. So I forced myself, and offered the burnt offering, Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandments of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. The Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever, but now your kingdom will not continue. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart, and the Lord has appointed him to be ruler over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. And Samuel left and went on his way from Gilgal. The rest of the people followed Saul to join the army. They went up from Gilgal towards Gibeah of Benjamin. Saul counted the people who were present with him, about 600 men. Saul, his son Jonathan, and the people who were present with him 
stayed in Geber of Benjamin, but the Philistines encamped, encamped at Mishmash, and raiders came out of the camp of the Philistines in three companies. One company turns towards Ophrah, to the land of Shaul, another company turned towards Beth Oron, and another company turned towards the mountains that looks down upon the valley of Zaboem towards the wilderness. Here ends our first reading. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. This is his for he made it. New Testament reading for today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, beginning to read at verse 63. Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and to beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept on asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? They kept on heaping many other insults upon him. When day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, gathered together, and they brought him to their council. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, If I tell you, you would not believe, and if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, Are you then the Son of God? He said to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Here ends our Gospel reading. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear. Holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. 
Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the blessings of this new day. We give thanks for all the many things that we so often take for granted. The air we breathe, the food we eat, all that sustains our lives. And most especially, we give thanks for the love of your Son, Jesus Christ, greater than all our understanding. Pour out your blessing upon us this day, that we may see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue, continue to pray for our nation at this time. We pray for government and all those in positions of responsibility who are asked to make uh, important decisions for our country. We pray for the wisdom of true discernment. We pray that the needs of the poorest will not be forgotten. We pray for the needs of the most vulnerable, including all those who are in hospital, all those who are elderly, all those who are suffering from illness, who are afraid, all those in positions of poverty and destitution. And at this church, we especially remember in our prayers all those people who are homeless at this time, all those who are beginning new accommodation in, their house, in housing for the first time after the pandemic, but also for all those still on the street. We remember especially all who are refugees and asylum seekers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for other nations of the world. We continue to hold in our prayers, especially areas of conflict. We pray for Syria, for the Yemen, for Iraq and Afghanistan, for the Middle East and the Holy Land, for Sudan, for all people longing for peace in their lives, for all those who are refugees and migrants searching for safety and for food and for sustenance for their families. We pray for all who work in care and all those who work in charities to care for the needs of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And today we remember in our prayers the Church, the Church of England, our own churches, this Church of St. Martin in the Fields, and all who work for this church. We give thanks for the wonderful gift of music. We thank you, Lord, for our choral scholars and the year that they have been with us. And we pray for your blessing upon them as they continue to uh, create beautiful music for many people and bring joy and hope to many. It's a difficult time for all people in the creative arts, so we especially pray for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now the collect for today. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, grant in our hearts the love of your name, 
increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us always in the same, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now our choral scholars are going to sing the Lord's Prayer for us. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us for this morning song today with our choral scholars. And we hope you have a really blessed day. And this day brings you the many blessings of Christ. Thank you too to our choral scholars for being with us in this service today and throughout the year. And they're going to sing for us now, King of Glory, King of Peace. Thank you. of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those whom you love this day and forever
Thank you for being with us and join us um, on tomorrow morning for our meditation at 8, for our Holy Communion at 10 o'clock on Sunday, and every morning at 8.30 for morning prayer. You are very welcome. And if any of you haven't signed up yet, we have our parish day on the 15th of August, and that's open to everyone with the wonderful poet Malcolm Geit, with great sacred music, with our choral scholars, and with our um, uh, St. Martin's Voices singing. And uh, it's going to be a great day. And you can sign up online for that day with Malcolm Geit, Sam Wells, and all our choirs. The 15th of August, it's all online and all are welcome. Thank you, and good morning, everyone.